Hey, what's up, what's up? This message is for Aquarius, all placements, cross watchers, customers, and welcome. If the reading does not resonate with you, I ask that you watch your other signs. This is not personal, but a collective reading for Aquarius, okay? Uh, keep an open mind and say what you want. Leave the rest. We're all on different timelines in our life. My reading may not resonate with you, but they are timeless, so it could be past, present, or future that it resonates with you. If you want something more personal, all the information is going to be in my description box. So uh, this is like the fifth time that I've tried to do your reading, and I keep getting uh, interruptions, so it's hard for me to meditate and focus right now. Some of you guys are having a, hard, a difficult time meditating. Five is about a major life change, so huge changes are definitely on the way, guys. Okay, some of you may have been born February the 5th as well. All right, so we have 10 of emotion and 4 of emotion. All right, so 10 of emotion is saying life is blessing you with a wonderful and loving family, great happiness and emotional fulfillment, and now on the is now on the horizon. Harmony with those you love is assured. Be offering forgiveness, understanding, and kind to other. Uh, you're rewarded with unconditional love, okay? So, wow, you got a family coming to you guys. Some of you guys are about to get married or settle down, have a family with someone, okay? We also have four of emotion, all right? So, ooh, some of you guys are about to meet somebody new here, but you could be ignoring someone. Someone could be ignoring you, <laughs> Okay, you might have had a final argument, some type of disagreement here, family matters going on. Uh, but it says there are wonderful people who wish to help you. Uh, opportunities are being offered to you, but you aren't noticing or trusting your gifts. Heaven is bestowing upon you. Look around you. Daydreaming or going within is a healthy way to get clarity as long as you act upon your dreams. So some of you guys may be dreaming, daydreaming right now. Okay, for some of you, this is about a relationship. Others of you, this could be about finances, money, family, things like that. Uh, some of you may be visiting some type of town as well here soon. You could be vacationing here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I do see possibly some type of travel. You could live in a city. All right. Yeah. All right. So let's see what your healing angel is. But 10, 10 and 4. Uh, is 14, 4 and 1 is 5, so again, 5, pay attention to 5. All right, so we have positive action. Some of you guys like the colors purple as well, which is royalty here. Some of you may be part of some type of uh, society, but it says a focus on the beauty in me. I focus on the beauty in me. Uh, so somebody's focused on your beauty, Aquarius. Uh, but it says, and I find silence. I live and honor the present by doing what I can do now. What I cannot change, I let go of and entrust to God. Yeah, so you tr you trust in yourself. What you can't change, what you can't, um, you know, make happen, it is what it is. Okay, you just letting it go, letting it be here. You let God take control of your life and no one else. Okay, so yeah. Uh, for some of you guys, yeah, you may be seeing more birds than usual. Okay, so communication is definitely coming in, guys. Uh, you can also see butterflies. All right. Some of you guys may need to go see um, an ENT specialist. Okay. You can have something going on with your allergies, such as myself. Okay. Maybe dealing with headaches at this time as well. Could be feeling a little depleted. Maybe a little um, vertigo. Okay. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. I want to do your crystal. So your crystal is Tazanite. And, of course, I have to write it down because I don't have a book. But Tazanite says ready to love again. Again, ready to love. So love is coming in, guys. Again, it says you've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love. Some of you guys have been single for a very long time. You may feel like you, you know, love is not coming in. It's taking too long, but love is coming. But some of you guys' heart is closed off to love because, um, you know, you've been very hurt. But Spirit is saying you've healed long enough. Okay, you've done the work. You've, you've, um, you know, you've done what you needed to do in order for love to come in. Okay, so be open to receive love. 
you may like the colors blue or purple for some of you that may be significant here uh tasmite is connected to the crown chakra the throat chakra is as well as the third eye uh the zodiac sign for tasmite is sagittarius some of you may be dealing with that zodiac sign you could be from the countries africa uh, you could be uh, also celebrating a wedding anniversary as well. Okay, yes. Um, this crystal is very good at healing migraines, headaches. Uh, it helps to rejuvenate cells such as, uh, you know, skin, hair. Um, and also, it helps to re overcome obstacles. Uh, enhances your intuition and promotes better communication. Some of you guys may be in communications. You could be counselors, speakers. Um, it also is very good at protecting against negative energy. Uh, some of you may also have uh, reproductive health issues or spinal issues, back problems. Okay, that's for some of you guys. And... Um, but it's very good at helping out in stressful situations and work environments as well. It is, this stone is very powerful to where you could uh, see a change in career as well. That's something that you would be interested in. Your warrior is Lalita Charpura Sandura. All right. Uh, some of you may be dealing with a Gemini. Okay, or have Gemini on your chart. Uh, Lalita uh, has the number 18 beside her. You can be born February 18th, such as myself. I don't always like to include myself in my own readings, but hey, if it happens, it happens. Um, but 18 is 9, okay? So you're closing out cycles, uh, starting new ones. Um, 9 is also about endings. Okay, in reflection. So you could be reflecting on a situation or reflecting on it in this situation, but accepting the endings for what it is for some of you. Okay. Uh, Lalita is here to remind you that whatever it is that you go through, um, believe um, that you can always achieve uh, and overcome things. Uh, you're about to go through a very major change if you haven't already. But whatever it is that you're going through, it's about to be an end. Like, it's coming to an end. That struggle, that, that pain, that worry, that stress, all of that is about to go away. Okay? You suffered long enough. Some of you have a lot of hate and jealousy between family and friends at this time. Uh, a lot of disputes. Could be with a parent. Could be with a lover. Could be with a friend, a co-worker. Whatever. But you got a lot of jealousy surrounding you guys. So be very careful with what you share with others at this time. Um, <clears throat> some of you are very, very beautiful. Or like you're changing your look. You're looking more highly attractive as well. Okay. Uh, but their success is going to be coming in. Okay. Protect your mental health is at all costs. Uh, don't let anybody get you riled up. You know, you may have a problem with the way someone approach you. The way someone look at you. The way someone talk to you. <laughs> Okay, some of you guys may be PMSing at this time. I'm just saying. But um, just know the good things are intended for you. And the difficult time is uh, near. Um, is almost over. Okay. All right. So let's see what is going on. Like I say, this is the fifth time that I tried to do this. Okay. So some of you guys need to make a choice right now. If you have a lot of options. Okay. With the Seven of Cups. You have a king of wands here, Aries and Sagittarius. Okay, some of you guys may be dealing with someone that has a lot of options, but someone finds you very attractive here. They see that may think that you have a lot of options. That's for some of you guys, but with the world here, someone feels like you are the world. And I do see a, a, cycle, a cycle that's uh, closing here uh, with someone that possibly was a player. That's for some of you guys, but with the world, there is a change. Uh, that's coming ahead. So you're going to be achieving your goals and you're going to be looking highly attractive while doing it. You do have options as well, but I feel like you have someone that's very, very attractive that's going to be coming towards you guys. And you could be trying to figure out if this is a relationship you want to deal with. I do see a travel. Someone here may live at a distance from you as well. Okay. Uh, there's going to be a change in, in your job. So you may have, uh, you know, options when it comes to work, where you want to work, where you want to live, where you want to move. 
all right for some of you guys this is this person that you're dealing with that, that you're dealing with this person is watching you here okay mm -hmm. three of cups so some of you guys are dealing with a friend group here that's watching you. You may be dealing with a boss as well, Aries or Sagittarius. Okay, there may be some type of invitation, some type of party that you could go through, go to. But somebody here watches you. You could do something online. This person finds you very attractive. This person is attractive as well. They may be younger than you. They could be a little intimidated by you. All right, but somebody here sees that you have a lot of fun or you get a lot of attention. Okay, uh-huh. Yep. Someone here lives at a distance from you, but I do see possibly thinking about traveling and relocating. Okay. So you're being very decisive when it comes to your moves right now. What is going on here? Some of you guys, yeah, this is a job with the eight of pentacles. So you could be thinking about creating something new, making a decision about your creativity. And for some of you guys, this is a business idea, something that you do online. That's for some of you guys. All right, but somebody here is watching your money. You may have uh, options. Somebody, some of you are dealing with more than one option here. One of us, uh, one of the persons here is watching your money and your finances. But some of you guys, you got somebody at work that has a crush on you. This person is going to ask you out on a date here. This is someone that sees you as someone that's abundant, uh, financially stable, or a mother figure. Okay. But yeah, you, know, you paying attention to the details here and uh, paying attention to your money and finances as well here. But I see an ending is uh, between you and this mother figure. Okay. A, a mother figure may want to come back and talk to you, but you may be up in your head about this. Something going on with a parent here. There may be news of a, some type of death as well. My condolences to you. All right. Uh, some of you are also dealing with a boss that's causing a lot of chaos and confusion here. Or it's, okay. So you cut you cut someone out. Someone here could be very bitchy and controlling. Okay, that's for some of you guys. But I see you coming up as someone that's very dependable, honest, noble, all about family matters at this time, finances, home matters. Okay, this is someone that's from your past. That's for some of you guys. And yeah, this person is gaining a new perspective of value here. There may have been a queen of wands that was in the middle of the, you and this person connection, but with the king of pentacles, yeah. So this person sees you as someone that's very highly attractive here. You're on top of your A game. You're looking, you, you're looking apart here, okay? But there is a person here that's in the middle uh, that's trying to stop you and this person from being together, okay? This is an ex. Somebody from the past is two is three women here. Somebody here is a player. Okay. Someone could be dealing with multiple people. Uh fucking around in a marriage. I'm just saying. So you ended the situation with this person, but this person, some of you were dealing with someone that was married that uh their ex is trying to come back into the picture. Okay. Mm hmm Yep. But you're using your discernment here. And for some of you guys, I see you cutting off a boss or some type of leader here that's uh, very gossipy here or trying to be in your business. That's what some of you guys. Okay. But I do see someone here trying to cause some type of confusion. You could be confused about the past or confused about somebody's death here. There could be a, a detective or a lawyer here as well that's trying to solve a case between a couple. Some of you uh, may be in a funeral uh, insurance industry as well. Uh, computers. Someone here, be careful with drinking and driving. Yeah. Be careful with drinking and driving, guys. But you're up in your head about uh, ending this situation with someone or cutting someone off. Someone here has a lot of love for you, a lot of care for you here. This person sees you as a wish fulfillment, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yep. This is a couple. Some of you guys are dealing with a couple here. Okay. Tell me more. What's going on? Some of you guys are about to... Um, going to some type of marriage you got to get an offer of marriage here 
this is somebody from your past this is an ex a uh, queen of wands was involved in the middle of this but you may be up in your head on whether or not you should go back to the past i guess for some of you guys you will the full aquarius energy okay so for some of you guys this is somebody that you possibly uh took a leap of faith towards here okay Tell me more. Some of you guys have an animal or a pet that's coming in. Ten of Wands. All right. So there is a couple here. Um, I'm getting for some of you guys, this could have been a burden or someone is trying to cause you to walk away from your love and be, yeah. Somebody wants you to be confused. Four of Cups. So someone here is unhappy. This is a father figure, Emperor. So you may be dealing with an Aries here that is, uh, sees you as a missed opportunity here, but this person was a burden, so you left this person. They could have had other options, or it was like they put you in a third party. You're like, okay, well, I can go be somewhere else, okay? That's for some of you guys. With the page of ones here, this person is going to be reaching out to you, all right? Mm -hmm. But somebody here may be a little confused on why come you're not speaking to them. You may have moved away, separated from this person, the moon. Okay, so somebody here has secrets here, a marriage. So somebody was secretly married here, but somebody secretly trying to get information on you, your whereabouts as well. You may get served some type of paperwork from the courts here. This may be uh, unbeknownst to you, but it's coming in for, for some of you guys. All right, there's something about a boss. Oh, no, that's not the boss. The King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles here wants to invest they they're ready to invest here okay but so somebody is investing in a marriage or some type of form of commitment they were they were in financially they can have children with this person okay and that may be something that you don't know that they have as a secret here but you're going to find out the secret that somebody was married you could be dealing with a tourist as well but this tourist wants to, is interested on coming back towards you here okay but some of you is like you don't want this person you don't want you don't want their love okay yeah you're coming in as the empress you're valuing your self-worth here but with the six of cups there's a balance there's going to be a balance between you and a relationship ace of wands okay so spicy time with you and this person some of you are going to get pregnant be careful you don't want to get pregnant with this person you will with the king of cups yeah it's going to take you by surprise this person is going to come in and pour out their love towards you this person has a lot of care and feelings for you pisces cancer scorpio all right but they may be going through a tower moment in a connection right now okay mm -hmm. with the baby mother okay mm -hmm. this person is stressed out here ten of swords they feel like you betrayed them but this person sees you as their ten of cups okay leo you may be dealing with leo here somebody here okay so you got okay so somebody's betraying you this person stabbed you in the back here this person is stressed out because see this person is stressed because you got the ten of cups they are jealous of you this person is betraying you they're backstabbing you talking about you behind your back judging you okay uh-huh so somebody here is exposing some type of truth here I feel like this person is also, yeah, they're very two-faced and uh, the Ten of Pentacles. So, I feel like you guys, for some of you that's working, it's like you have a job that you really, you really like, but this job doesn't pay enough. But some of you is someone that works in that place that's causing chaos or they talk a lot of shit about you, okay? But this person is jealous because they're going through something in their own life. And for some of you guys, a relationship, I'm just going to say it, okay? But you exposing the truth here with truth and clarity, but this person is trying to expose you, okay? But yeah, you're not backing down. You're going to be standing your ground here and you're going to tell the truth. You don't have a problem with this. But I feel like somebody here is trying to betray you with the ten of the ten of wands. Okay. Some of you guys definitely need to get a rest, get some rest. You feel stressed out, you feel burdened here, uh, stressed out about family matters. Okay. 
finances for some of you guys i do see going to court as well for some of you this is involving a uh, divorce okay a home some of you may uh, also be purchasing a home be careful with that be careful with uh who you deal with real estate wise because somebody could yeah there could be a secret here surrounding your money that you don't see okay and with the two of pentacles here, I do see juggling. Some of you are juggling between, you know, being a mother, uh, home, work. You just got a lot on your plate right now. And you need to take time out for self-care. With the three of wands here, somebody uh, lives at a distance from you that, that's feeling hopeless or lost. Or are you feeling, uh, you know, some of you guys is just ready to move away. Okay, you may feel like there's a lot of obstacles surrounding you as well. Okay, some of you could be crying at this time, feeling emotional. Okay, yeah, you could be single with the, yeah, it's the about money and finances, the queen of pentacles. So you may be dealing with having an issue with a parent, a mother. Okay, and with the nine of cups. Whatever it was that was stressing you out making you cry making you upset a lot of you guys this is definitely finances here you're going to come into happiness and abundance the chariot things are going to be moving forward for you you can be dealing with a leo as well but somebody sees you as a wish fulfillment cancer okay yeah so i do see a balance here when it comes to your money and finances okay but I do see somebody here watching you and uh, maybe crying. Someone could be crying, upset, uh, because, yeah, the, whoever it is, it's like they're watching you live your wish fulfillment. Okay, so these haters that surround you, that's gossiping and talking here, they're going to see you shine. Okay, they're going to see you shine. But they're always watching you. Okay. Just like this lady at work said, oh, you know, uh, you come up on my people you may know. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. There, I, No, ma'am. Don't do me. Okay? But this person has been watching for a long time. So you may, somebody may say, oh, you know, you popped up on my uh, For You page or child with three followers on my Instagram. No, ma'am. You, you searching me. You doing a whole lot to search me with three followers ma'am okay but i already know that this person has been watching me for a long time anyway um so it was no surprise to me when she tried to expose me in front of people at work i'm like and she said that i was a fortune teller <laughs> so i mean it it doesn't bother me but it's like it's really kind of messy you know at the same time because really you just being you really just jealous, okay? That's all that it that it is. So be mindful of uh, jealous energy surrounding you, coming towards you, okay? Just ignore them, all right? But we have stability and flow. So, uh, yeah, again, stabilizing things. Money is going to be stabilizing. Again, some of you guys are dealing with financial issues. Some of you may need to drink more water as well. Some of you may be dancers, Okay, into yoga, sports, something about feet. Okay, you may uh, need to go to the spa, nail appointment, hair appointment. Okay, so yep, there. What I say, there's gonna be a renewal in your money, your finances, and your stability here. Decision. You're gonna make a decision to part ways with someone. That's for some of you guys. Okay, you could be dealing with someone that was locked up. Somebody here could be being released here from jail. Okay, mm -hmm. wish fulfillment is coming in though. Yep, so your wish fulfillment is going to be a soulmate, someone that you're very passionate with. Passionate, someone that's going to, you're going to have a lot of chemistry with this person. Okay, this person may have a past. This person could have been locked up before. They may uh, toxicity. Uh, this person could drink, smoke, um, you know, have an unhealthy habit. Uh, it says patterns. 
so they may have an unhealthy unhealthy pattern here but uh it's going to be a renewal here after you and this person split walked away from each other there's going to be a comeback around okay but you're going to have to wait out your you know make a decision about this okay mm -hmm. but this person has a lot of passion for you okay some of you may like to swim. Some of you may be dealing with a Pisces, has pi have on the cusp of a Pisces, like myself. Okay. Uh, the devil, Capricorn energy. Again, this person is addicted to you. You're addicted to this person. Okay. But somebody here could have a mental health issue. Okay. Someone could be codependent here, very materialistic, feeling hopeless. Somebody could be abusive as well. Okay. Uh, this is a burden. There's a lot of obstacles here. So you having a way out of decision here because, uh, again, finances, obstacles in the way, job, poverty, feeling that, you know, feeling that a loss here, but spirit is telling you to have patience. Uh, there's a new job is going to be coming in as well, but somebody here is a devil. Okay. Somebody spreading gossip about you at work. This person's always watching you. It could be part of a secret society here with the three of, uh, the three of pentacles so this is a team this is a team effort here to try to get you to possibly leave your job to make shit to 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 so okay these people are full of shit so they want you to leave your job some of you guys these people are jealous of you they watch you online if you have an online presence they're jealous of you your money status you may look like you know you have it all but you so for some of you guys you really do struggle and, but these people are jealous of you. Jealous of your money and finances. There's a secret surrounding your money. Okay. I knew I was going to I felt that type of energy earlier. And I kept having to start this reading over and over. Yeah. Boundaries. Spirit is telling you to set up boundaries between these people that you work with. Or these this friend group here. Okay, but you're protected with the guardian here. You may be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, but it's because you got a wish fulfillment that's coming in here. Okay, so these people that's collaborating to team up against you, they they're gonna be on their ass. Okay. Some of you may live in the south, summertime. There's definitely a Leo in the mix or a fire sign significance here. Some of you are dealing with a, a fire water sign. They on the cusp of a fire and a water because the chalice is here. That's the cup. That's water. And then you got fire, passion. Some of you dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone here is trying to gather information. This person is watching. Yep, this person may live at a distance from you guys. Okay, but spirit is telling you to follow your intuition. Cat, you may be seeing more cats lately. Could have a cat. Okay, some of you, yep. You could be a tarot card reader as myself, a spiritualist. Incubation. Yeah, some of you guys are, you being uh, in solitude, want to be in solitude, but there is some type of pregnancy here. You could be finding out that you're pregnant. We have ancestors. So your ancestors are here watching you, guiding you, um, protecting you. But somebody has nostalgic memories about you. Okay. And some of you, you're not speaking to this person. Spirit is saying whatever it is that you're working on, keep it to yourself. Okay. Don't tell anybody your business ideas, business move at this time. Containment. Okay, so somebody here doing spell work. Okay, for some of you, this is a feminine energy or this is yourself. Somebody has an altar set up. Spirit is saying that you need to do a protection spell because somebody here is trying to block you. Some of you guys, somebody is trying to block you from your creativity. But there is a lot of protection here. I got ancestors. I see the... Uh, protection some of you uh, and then we have guardian so your guardian your ancestors are watching whoever this is they have their eye on them 
they have their eye on them. Okay? But make sure you're protecting yourself at all times. Some of you guys may need to get uh, new shoes as well. Want new shoes. Okay? May be really good at dancing. Uh huh. But I could feel that energy. Yeah, it's a witch. You got a witch in your in your energy. Definitely have a witch in your energy. A black witch, not a good witch. Tell me more. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the magician in reverse. This person is uh, very deceptive here, creating some type of illusion, doing black magic here. This person is a trickster, Gemini, uh, Virgo energy. That's for some of you guys. Okay, tell me more about this trickster spirit. This person that's trying to manipulate Aquarius. This is a family member. If it's not a family member, this is someone you were family with. Okay, uh, be careful with children as well trying to manipulate but i'm getting more so family members or someone you were married to live in a home with okay page of wands aries or sagittarius this person is doing spell work candle magic okay uh you may get a phone call from a family member this uh be careful with this person you may get a phone call from this person what what else you could be conversing yep this is about money could be an earth sign uh, Virgo Taurus Capricorn so you may have a child here that could be coming towards you wanting money from you but this is more so this is spell work here somebody doing spell work over your money your home uh, marriage life yeah this is a this male this could be a man it could be someone younger than you okay it doesn't necessarily have to be but they paid somebody to do this there's a queen of wands here as well. Y'all got, for some of you guys, you got up to two to three people that's doing uh, negative work here. Spell work. Tell me more about this queen of wands. Yeah. Uh, this person is pissed off. You did something or you got a major. So you got opportunities that's coming in and this person is upset. They watch you all the fucking time. Like I just said. <clears throat> the person at my job, I know she watches me. Okay. Yeah. This person is confused. They always watch you. They confused. They feel restricted here, but they want you to be restricted. They want you to feel trapped. Okay. And in fear. But see, you coming up as the star. Okay. The star is Aquarius. So this person is watching you. I can't make it up. So this person is going to try to intimidate you or bully you, backstabbing you. Look at this, the moon. Okay. So you got the moon, the ten of swords, and the five of swords. Okay. So this person wants to win at all costs. They want to have a one-up on you. This person is lying on you, stabbing you in the back. This is a two-faced ass person. Uh, this bumba clout. Okay, it's basically what it is. Um, it's jealous. They're jealous of you. They're jealous of you. And for some of you guys, it's because you have a lot of knowledge, okay, or you're saying a lot of things, and this person could be watching you, especially if you're a tarot reader like myself. This person watching you, and you're exposing the truth. But I don't really give a fuck. If you think that my reading is about you, then it is. Okay? Period. I don't I don't have to say your name. You know if it's if it's your story or, or if it's not your story. Don't come watching my channel because I because one thing, I didn't give her my channel name. I'm not I'm not big like that. So you already had been and plus somebody at work already told me that she liked looking people up. Okay, that's real. That's some real creepy stuff. Okay, to me, that's that's creepy. And like I told them at work, I block you. I don't I don't add work friends. I don't. Okay, but whatever it is that this person's trying to do, trying to stab you in the back, gossip about you, you're gonna find this out. You're not <laughs> you already know the truth about this person. See, 
when she came to me and she said that she saw me on my people you may know my unstoppable channel i had already knew that she was the type of person so when she said that it was no surprise for me because nine times out of ten we already we already put up on game anyway so i was just like okay whatever okay but I do see you guys a marriage is going to be coming in. Someone's coming in to bring your offer, the lover. Someone's going to make a choice. Yep. There's a new relationship here. Someone financially stable. Okay. Uh, but this is someone that's going to take their time coming in. This person's not coming in slow. This person's about their finances, home, security. Okay. And yeah, you're going to get pregnant and have a baby by this person. Okay, money and finances is definitely coming in here. This person wants to be generous towards you. I do see an employment opportunity coming in as well, something that you're going to enjoy. Some of you may work from home. Okay. Mm hmm. At a time where money was slow, money is definitely going to be coming in, guys. All right. Yes. Maybe dealing with a Gemini. Yep. There was a choice here, but I feel like this person is going to choose you. You're going to choose this person. All right. So the spell word, the negativity, all that stuff is going to, I feel like it's going to be backfired here. It's going to, because your ancestors are on top of it already. They already know who it is, who's doing what and where and why. All right. Okay, let's see what your soul truth is. What's the soul truth for Aquarius? Okay, so uh, what risk can I take today? Be not mistaken. You will have to take bigger risks than you ever thought possible on this path towards your dreams. You will have to take the big scary leap. Ooh. But do not fret because your soul has wings, okay? Um, so what risk can you take to move towards your uh, your dreams, Aquarius? Uh, make a decision and do it just like Nike, okay? No more thinking, only doing, all right? Be brave and courageous. Don't let anything stop you, all right? You'll discover what you're really made of soon, okay? What's the archetype for Aquarius? All right, so we have child. Ooh, some of you guys about to have a baby. A child is about to come in. You could be spending time with your children. That's for some of you guys. Okay, grandchild. Okay, some of you may have braids. Uh, I have a hair up. up. Okay, uh, 15. Maybe significant as well. Six. Okay, some of you born February the 15th. February the 6th as well. Communication definitely coming in here okay home matters okay yeah but you may be feeling more playful energetic more fun loving and lighthearted here but somebody uh could come towards you with this type of energy that's for some of you guys okay but raising your vibrations all these cards fell out at one time blown or some of you may feel like you're alone 55 may be significant as well 10 is a completion uh, you may be fearful of a of a connection at this time. Maybe feeling a little paranoid. Someone paranoid around you could be a child. Okay. Uh, someone here is uh, doesn't have a regard for people's feelings. You could be dealing with someone like this, crafts crafts person. Okay. All right, so you have a challenge here. For some of you guys, you're dealing with someone that has a disregard for people's feelings here. That's for some of you guys. Uh, you could be isolating yourself. Uh, you may be dealing with someone that's very codependent as well. Um, you may be a little critical on yourself at this time due to your creativity. That's for some of you. Uh, you may be a little moody. And it, for some of you guys, because you're not getting rest, you're working a lot, you have a lot of challenges, 
again lots and lots of challenges some of you guys are about to be really really busy uh to the point to where um you know you may not even have time for your own child so make sure you're spending time with family okay uh <clears throat> challenger some of you may drive a challenger okay um february the 4th, 13th february the 18th is here as well with craft person uh so you may be not communicating with a person right now uh for some of you this is a parent child dynamic okay but again it's because somebody's working a little too much all right so be careful with alienating yourself but i see some of you guys could be into construction okay but craft so you're working on a craft you're working on your creativity something new changing things up here okay uh but yeah i do see you guys you could be a revolutionary as well uh someone could be trying to intimidate you um and you know there may be careful with uh having conversation with someone here okay tell me more about challenger and intimidating what is this about there's some news here that's going to be very challenging that's coming in You'll be served some type of paperwork. Okay. Some deceptive behavior. Someone being deceptive around you. Uh, this may be something, yeah, you're going to find out. It's communication. This could be around the holidays. Okay. But you, somebody is scheming. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. This is someone, for some of you guys, this is someone that lives at a distance from you. You close out a cycle with this person. And this person is causing a lot of confusion and chaos around you. Or they could be lying on you as well. Coming towards you with a lie. This could be a boss. You got the emperor here. A boss, a father figure. <clears throat> or someone, be careful with someone coming towards you. Telling you a lie about a boss as well gossiping to you about someone don't feed into it aquarius someone wants you to give up but you're not going to you almost at the finish line you feel like giving up you feel you know all hope is lost but with the nine of cups somebody has a lot of feelings and love for you this person is coming in with a uh, an invitation or some type of proposal Okay, mm -hmm. this person wants to fight for your love, but I do see, again, arguments, conflict, disagreement here. Okay, you may be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person could, yeah, but some of you guys, you walked away. You left this person because you felt stuck, um, you know, trapped. You went towards your wish fulfillment. But for some of you guys, yeah, I see you walking away from one connection onto another and getting married and settling down with someone but again the same cards are coming out this person is going to take their time there this person may be going through something in the home dynamic as well they may already be married going through a separation or divorce a baby mother a baby father situation that's for some of you guys all right so i definitely feel like you may have more than one choice that's for some of you so let's get ready to close this out Aquarius. Okay, let's see what your final message is. What's the final message for Aquarius? Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords again. You got some type of deceptive, sneaky energy for one surrounding a home situation, Queen of Pentacles. So you may be dealing with a mother figure. Some of you guys may live with a mother figure, but someone could be trying to cheat you out of your money in your own home. Five of Pentacles. Some of you, yeah, someone wants to leave you left out in the cold. You left someone out in the cold. You plan on leaving someone because someone here is struggling financially here, or someone is trying to rob you of your finances, the star. They see you as the star here. Okay, but you are the star, so you're remaining hopeful, okay, and uh, continue to stay prayed up here, but the two of cups, yeah. So, 
you got a relationship that's going to be coming in. You could be dealing with Aquarius such as yourself with the two of cups. You could this could be a be careful with uh, collaborating with someone sees your light. They see that you're um, you know for some of you guys like you financially stable. But somebody here, I'm getting a lot of codependent energy, and this could be like somebody you work with. This could be, you know, a collaboration, a team of some sort, someone trying to cheat you here. King of Wands, you may be dealing with a boss as well with this King of Wands energy. But someone that's really attracted to you, you and this person are soulmates. Yeah. You might have cut yourself all from this person but this person wants to speak with you the high priestess yeah i feel like you know you are the high priestess some of you guys are tarot readers psychics highly intuitive as well this person knows this okay and uh yeah the queen of wands i feel like this person is very attracted to that they're attracted to the fact that you're mysterious Okay, it's like you hold some type of mystery. And I feel like, you know, you also, you may not be speaking on a lot of things, but somebody here is a mystery. What is that? What, who's the high priestess? What is this? Somebody's married or some of you guys are about to come into a marriage. A Leo. Four of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Okay. So some of you guys may be dealing with someone. You could live in a home with someone. You could be in a relationship with someone where they have someone that's uh, possibly a third party. It could be a side person that's waiting for this person to leave or... It could be somebody from their past that's waiting for them to leave that sees them that they are still holding on to this person. Either your person is holding on or they're holding on. I feel like that this this other person, this side person is trying to find the strength to come forward. But I feel like they're just holding on. They're not saying anything. They're not doing anything. The sun... I'm getting heavy on Leo energy. This could be someone they have a child by. Yeah, this is someone that doesn't want to give up on this connection. And this person plans on returning. They could be watching this person uh, for the time being. They want to rebalance things with the Six of Cups. Three of Cups. Yeah, this is the third party. But I don't think there's any play, any movement right now or any play at the moment. Uh the hangman so somebody is stuck or they hadn't made a move yet yeah this is an x with the king of swords seven cups the lovers and the wheel of fortune so somebody here has a lot of options they may be dealing with a gemini as well or they know that they need to make a choice with the wheel here there's moving something forward with the two of wands in the tower so for some of you guys you got <laughs> somebody may try to play you and move on to another relationship where they had another option here but they gonna find out that that option was full of shit they gonna find out that that option is gonna be full of shit okay so it's like somebody trying to have their cake and eat it too and I do see if you're single, you about to be you about to be married. Uh, you could be dealing with a Capricorn as well, but someone here is highly addicted to you.
someone wants to ask you for forgiveness, but be careful with codependent energy. Okay. Or someone coming towards you, needing you for money. Yeah. I feel like you definitely about to meet your soulmate after a period or a long time of being alone, dealing with relationships where just superficial relationships, person don't know what they want, um, you know, somebody having a lot of options. Some some of you guys are dealing with someone that's a player, okay, that doesn't know what the hell they want, but whatever it is, wherever they finna move to or go to, they finna find out that you were the better option. I mean, because they're going to think that wherever they finna go, it may be good for a little while, but over time, this person is going to realize that they fucked up. They screwed up a good thing, okay, with you. If they haven't already, this person could be reaching out to you as well, okay? You may be a little guarded with this person if they come back because you don't trust them. This person could be very sneaky to you. Okay. Yep. So expect communication from someone from your past that's a player. Okay. Uh, let's see what your person has to say here. Whoa. I'm planning on reaching out to you. I love you. Please be patient with me. <clears throat> friends or family disapprove of this connection i feel like i ruined everything jealous and possessive These have been pre-shuffled. Some of you guys are about to go into an engagement as well. Your uh, love life is ascending to a higher level commitment with someone who has a lot of romantic uh, feelings for you. You and this person could be separated or you going through a separation between your person right now. Okay. It says past life relationship. You've known each other before. So somebody from your past is coming back. Spirit is saying make the effort. But this person is going to make the effort to come back around into your life. I feel like for some of you guys, this, you and this person could be on two different uh, timelines. All right. Spirit is saying let go of control issues. So someone here could be very controlling. Some of you are dealing with a new love as well. That's wanting to have a heart and heart conversation with you. And this could be the one. Okay. But pay attention to the red flags and healing family issues. Getting to know each other. Okay. Stay optimistic about your love life, Aquarius. Some of you are dealing with two different people. Again, like I said. So, so you may be dealing with someone that has codependent issues. This person, um, you, you may be trying to learn this person, get to know this person. Okay. They dealing with some type of trauma here. This is someone new for some of you guys. And for some of you, you're dealing with someone from the past uh, that still has a lot of romantic feelings for you. This person may want to have sex with you as well. I'm just saying. Okay. Uh huh. But Spirit is saying pay attention to the red flags. So don't get caught up. Don't get uh, confused. But if you feel like you're confused, I highly suggest, um, you know, to speak to someone that you trust that will guide you and give you the right information. Okay. So it says girl with the snake. Okay. Empath narcissist boundaries. All right. Be careful. Someone, this person, they watch you. Some of you guys wear glasses, need glasses here. Okay. But someone is stalking you. I can't, I can't make it up. I don't even know why I pulled this deck because I just said I was about to end it, but this keeps coming out for a reason. So it's like you're lighthearted, but this person comes around you lighthearted, you know, full of energy. And, but see, this person is a snake though. Okay. They wear a mask. It's coming up for a reason here. Okay. But be careful with dating with someone that has a mask here. This person is lying to you, but I do see date here and ascending. Okay. But you may feel like things are not enough with this person. Someone born in you're the snake as well. Okay, there's a lot of competition here with the other woman. 
All right. So someone, abundance is coming in, guys. But I feel like there's competition here surrounding money, okay? Or it's like somebody that you're with is in competition with you. No. So the person that you dated, someone that they dated or was with, is in competition with you. And for some of you guys, it's about money and finances. I can't make it up. But you definitely got someone here that's trying to copy you, be you, wants to act like you. Okay? Yep. They're jealous. But you're feeling very frustrated in relationship, Aquarius. And I feel like you're going to be dating and meeting somebody new. Okay? Uh, that's for some of you guys. Or this, there's going to be a change here. This person uh, may decide to to let go of whatever it was that was causing the obstacles between you and them. Okay? But I do... I'm so sick of this bitch. I'm sorry. But I, she needs to get out of the reading. Why is she here and why does she keep popping up? What does she want with the Aquarius? Queen of Swords, yeah. So because you you ignore the, you ignore this person, you may act like a bitch, very cold hearted, the uh, Aquarius way. Okay. Um, you've seen a lot of things, you know a lot of things, you've been through a lot, okay, but you're gonna use your discernment, you're very analytical about things as well. And it's like you know the truth about this person with the Queen of Swords. So yeah, you get to the bottom of shit here, or you already have got to the bottom of it, and this person don't like it. You exposing them for who they are here, okay? That's why the Queen of Swords is here. But this bitch has to go, okay? And for some of you guys, you may be working with a boss as well, or I feel like this person is being exposed. They try to expose you, but they're exposing themselves. Whatever they do to you goes back to them tenfold in the name of Jesus, the magician. Okay? So this person here is doing spell work, but it's because you're very powerful. You have all the tools that you need. Okay? You're coming up as the magician, Aquarius. And this is why this person is two-faced, talking about you behind your back here. This person can't be trusted. This person is laughing in your face. Okay? This is a narcissist. And you're going to have to set boundaries with this person. For some of you, this is not a boss or a woman. This is a, your own relationship here, okay? But it's because you're manifesting happiness. Again, Leo, maybe dealing with a Leo, heavy on the fire sign. Some of you guys, again, you manifested a, a very handsome person. And this person ain't going to like this. Somebody from your past here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So you got new beginnings that's coming in, and this person is jealous of this. I do see uh, someone manifesting you to have a baby. Uh, I do see a boy and a girl. Okay. So you can have two kids. You can have twins with this person. But just know somebody ain't to be trusted here. Okay. Yeah. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. For some of you, this is a friend that's jealous of you. Somebody that you've uh, you're no longer speaking to. Yeah, this person was two faced. It. Yep, Virgo energy. This is someone you possibly grew up with here. They want shit to be slow for you. They want your money to be slow. With the Nine of Pentacles here, they want your finances to be slow. Your relationship to be slow. They try to slow shit up for you, okay? But they try to leave you with a fork in the road with the Two of Swords here. But so someone is just torn they're torn on why come you ghosted them yeah you ghosted somebody from your past okay but someone's gonna come in and make your offer you're not gonna know what to do about it someone do i feel like this person whoever this person is this is somebody from your past here and for some of you guys you may get the news of someone passing away you may uh there may be some financial uh decision that you're gonna have to make here you're not gonna be uh unsure you're not gonna know what to do <sighs> Yeah, but you're going to, for some of you guys, you may have to get a lawyer or something like that to help you make this decision. Five, 
with the number five, you could be dealing with a Taurus as well. For some of you, you don't know if you want uh, to marry this person. Someone's gonna come in and give you an offer. You're not gonna know. Um, be uns You're not gonna be sure on whether or not you want to settle down with this person. But for some of you guys, I do see a news of someone's passing here, and you having to make a more decision on what what to do here. Okay, possibly getting a lawyer, pay pay a lawyer or something like that. Tell me more. Okay, yeah, money investments here. Okay, new opportunities are going to be coming in. Uh, so there is some type of money that's going to be coming in, guys. There's great news that's coming in financially uh, concerning your investments. You may speak to a child as well, uh, a father figure. This could be concerning a father. <coughs> uh, but stability is coming in, yeah. So whatever it is that's happening here, you may be a little confused and have a lack of direction, but I feel like you're going to speak to someone that's going to be able to help you make this decision about these finances here. Page of Cups. Okay. So great news is coming in here. Uh, Spirit is telling you to follow your intuition. Um, you may have to consult in a psychic as well, or you could be dreaming. Uh, a dream about this is but some of you have relief you may not even be speaking to this person that's past yeah there may have been some type of disagreement between you and this person they could live at a distance from you all right yeah but they're still holding on to the fact that you and them are not talking or not speaking. They watching you here. So for some of you, this is a child or father, uh, mother, even the uh, gender uh, doesn't uh, mean anything here. It could be a man or a woman. Okay. Wow. So let's close this out. Choose a card. One, two, or three. What's car number one for Aquarius? Okay, so we have helpful people. Car number one. Success. Car number three. Don't stop in big happy changes. All right. So that is all I have, Aquarius. Again, I'm Tosh Unstoppable, and you ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell up out of here. Peace.